some hair. It is 1.15 in the morning. It was strange, like for a 10 hour flight, I've really felt like I was on there for about three hours. I watched straight out of Compton, so I watched one film. The rest of the time I was just working and cutting stuff out of these newspapers. I'm writing this notebook. In Sinaloa, my character has a notebook. So I arrived, it took ages to get my suitcase back, and the director, Julia Halperin, Julia Halperin picked me up from the airport and we got into her car and we drove through the pouring rain and immediately just started talking about the script. Came to the motel and met David and spent about half an hour in the foyer, by which point I was like, it doesn't feel like anything, it doesn't feel like I'm in a different country. It caught up on me because suddenly I felt very delirious. Went up to my huge room. David brought me a pack of beers. I don't know what you call this, like a huggy, a snuggy? Basically keeps your beer cool. And as Julia pointed out, it means you can street drink. Anyway, the confession that I've been working my way to telling you is that apparently the time difference combined with this brand of beer um, means that you get drunk after one pint. So <laughs> I'm going to have a shower or something to, to sober up. It's not so much the drunkenness that's making me slurred, but my extreme fatigue. I feel very close to Sinaloa. I feel very like I'm in the right place. I feel very relaxed. Um, it's been a long time coming, this job. Yeah, and I just feel right. But just tipsy. And so concludes my first video diary of the La Barracuda documentary behind the scenes from Sinaloa's perspective. And above it all, when your tread it falls and your feet look like they're lying. Take this last light from this fading sprite and keep our line from dying.